everybody welcome back to our tiny house uh today i think we're gonna do the topography and at a door or something all right so let's get into it okay so the first thing let's go ahead and add the topography so to do that come to the top and you'll see this tab right here that says massing in sight and what we want to do is skip past all the massing stuff and click on this right here topo surface now when you do this uh, it's kind of like all the other modifier draw things you have some choices over here we can create from an import like if you had a CAD file or something you could actually just trace it either way but uh, what we want to be on is exactly what we are on. And you can see that we are on a place point. So every single time you click, you're placing a point of elevation. And by default, it goes to zero, zero. And if you remember back, we kind of set this up so it would be at zero, zero. And what we want to do is actually, we could do this in 3D, but we want to go to site right here, this floor plan. So as soon as I click that, the site uh, is a little bit different because it uh, you can see everything pretty much that's going on within reason here and what we want to do is just I'm gonna start clicking all the way around so yeah you need at least three points to make a surface and again I'm just sticking inside of the boxes here and every single one of these is at zero now if we actually wanted to add like maybe we want to make this backside a hill or something we can do that uh, we can grab these three or four or whatever how many times you clicked we can modify these let's say we put these at 10 feet so this is gonna go kind of high and you can see that and it's trying to make these are called contour lines it's trying to make uh, this nice sloping thing that's gonna happen here but 10 is kind of high so I'm actually gonna back off that and I'm just gonna go up two feet two feet like that alright so we got these three points and it looks a little crazy right now we're actually gonna fix that so I'm gonna click on place point and since these are all two feet, I'm going to do one foot six inches. I'm going to kind of click, kind of give it a little bit of a sloping feature here. And then I'm going to go down to one foot, get a little closer. You can see how the contour line is now grabbing that. And this is our last one. I don't think this is going to change, but I'm going to do six inches. I still want the building to be flat, just from a design standpoint here. But I'm going to go ahead and click Finish Surface. And jump over to my 3D view and you can kind of see I mean it's it's a very small little raise here but if you click one of these you can see how flat it is and it tried to level this thing out as best it could from point to point and if you notice we got some of this stuff going on here we got a contour line right here because this is not flat because it was trying to slope this down from here so if we actually want this flat we need to put some point uh, just zero elevation points right over here and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to jump back into site I'm going to click on this topography, click edit and even though these are zero over here, it's trying to slope this down. So I want this to be actually flat, flat, flat just for our design purposes. So I'm going to put this back to zero and I'm going to follow this and notice all those contour lines are getting pushed. We can put it right on the edge there too. And 
just uh, one simple design kind of thing is on every single program I use is really get used to panning and zooming within commands. It is crucial because so many times these programs are set up where the snapping is all dependent on the zoom. And sometimes with these elevation points, you kind of want to you want to make sure that this does not bow in at all. You actually want to push these out or you get this this bowl effect. And we could get these to exact points and draw a perfect square. Not that we need to, but just always like to make sure that this is because like like this right here. See this? You get that kind of thing going on. And we don't want that. So I'm always trying to push this out so we don't get that. Alright, and push this one out as well. There we go. But you can see this one right there. See that? It's shooting back over there and we don't want that. Alright. So this is perfectly flat now and this is going to slope up. And just to show you how crazy it gets, this will not be affected now because I got all zero, zero, zero. And at least it shouldn't. But let's go ahead and put that these two points now. Let's put these all the way back to that 10 feet. And now you can see some really interesting things. So this one stayed for some reason. Let's put this back to 10 feet. So now you can see every single contour line is shown and it's really apparent now. And when we go to finish surface and go to 3D view, now you can really see the hill form. So I'm just going to leave it. It's just dirt. Uh, no big deal. There's one thing that's going to happen if you want to make a house with a basement or something like that. You can notice that there is dirt inside my house. And there's a couple ways to get rid of that. This is my favorite way. I go ahead and I'm going to go to split surface. We're going to split the surface and then we're going to delete it. So again, easiest thing to do is work in the site. I'm going to click on split surface then click the surface that you want to split and it puts you right into the draw tool so I'm just gonna put a box right around my house and click the check and now this is another very useful uh, tab tool here because sometimes you're gonna grab a wall or grab a floor or something luckily we're in sight so it's kinda grabbing that surface for us but you can see now we have this surface and we have this surface so you want to click on this surface and then hit the delete button and just to double check to see if it worked I think the easiest way is to flip your house upside down you should not see any dirt in your house perfect alright so I think that's pretty good. Uh, I don't really want to go into the door yet, so I think that's that's going to be good for this video. Oh wait, we might as well show you change the material while we're here. All right, so you click on it, and you can do materials. Uh, I've had students before do really cool. You had like three different. Uh, three different topographies and you kind of cascade them over top of each other and make one sand you make the other one water and then if you get a really cool angle you can actually make a nice little beachfront kind of scene thing going on here now the grass we'll just use as a placeholder I think it's under sight if it is and we can always search for it too grass so no grass. Let's go ahead and just make a new one anyway. So I'm going to say create new right down here. This is how we make new ones and it always does this default thing. So we're going to edit this. Actually rename it. 
I'm just going to call this grass one. Uh, capital grass one. Try to keep it with uh, the theme here. And I always like to use render appearance. It's just going to grab the color. So graphics is what it looks like when we're working on it. And render appearance is what it looks like when we actually apply the materials and render it. So we can go ahead and actually click down here. This is the asset library. And once that opens, we'll push this over here. We have all sorts of things going on. And the one I'm going to use is right down here. This is called appearance. So there's nothing really. It doesn't have physical attributes to it. It's just going to look nice. And I think it's site work. Yep, site work. We have tons of different grass to choose from. Generic, high quality, raw field. Uh, so you pick whatever you want. I probably won't even pick any of these because I use a, a really nice free website to grab these. But how about this one? Just gonna use the generic grass. And if you double click it, it'll apply it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. Not sure why I had all those little error things going on there, but figure that out as we go along. Go ahead and click OK. And here you can change like the scene pool of liquid. I don't think we really need that. Plain. Probably makes the most sense maybe. Environment, Gaza, a oh, plaza, not Gaza. So those are different uh, lighting styles there. But you can see it. You can see how it looks. It's just a preview. Hey, and look at that. So it looks a little bit better than the dirt. All right, and that'll do it for this video.